In this video, we are going to discuss about another networking device which is the router. So this is a router that you can see here. A router is a network layer hardware device that transmits data from one LAN to another if they support the same set of protocols. Now there are a few keywords here. The first is it's a network layer hardware device. The second thing is same set of protocols. Actually our computer network is organized in forms of layers which we'll be discussing in our next video. These network layers follow some protocols as we have discussed earlier TCP IP or IMAP or HTTP or FTP. Now routers are used to transmit the data if the network, the two networks that they are connecting are using the same set of protocols. If they are using different set of protocols, then the router will not be able to help. Now what does a router essentially do? We have learned earlier that packet switching is used in modern uh, computer networks because it is very efficient. Routers are responsible for transmitting those data packets to the next router and to the next router so that finally it reaches its destination. Router also strengthens the signal before it sends it further to the next router. So that is why it is also called a repeater. Now let's see how the router actually decides that how the data packet will be sent. It does so using a routing table. What is a routing table? Routing table is nothing but a list of available systems that will accept the data packet. This routing table is used to send the data packet and they can be of two types, static and dynamic. What is static? Static means that the routes are predetermined. If suppose there are five systems on a computer network, then all these five systems will have a address associated with them. So the static routing table will have all the permutation combinations that are possible in those five and it will be fed manually in the static router table. Okay. What happens in a dynamic? Dynamic, there will be more than uh, 5, 7, 8, 10 large number of computers are connected to the network and dynamically using some algorithms or some protocols, the router decides that which is the best available route that the data packet can take. So the difference between static and dynamic is that static can be used only for very small uh, network which has four or five ma maybe devices attached to it but the dynamic one can be used for bigger uh, computer networks. So in this video we have learned what a router is, how this helps in transmitting the data packets over networks that support the same protocols. In the next video, we are going to understand how a switch works on a network.